Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Today, out of any day of the massive amount of craziness for Call of Duty World War II, we got two brand new weapons for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And I know World War II is like the main Call of Duty game that has a lot of hype going on right now. Not too many people, I guess, are really caring about Infinite Warfare. But I do have a lot of subs that do play this game. So I want to talk about these two weapons that just went live. So first off, we have the Ryzen Dash EMX and then we have the Atlas. The Ryzen is a SMG gun and it comes with a built-in EMX. MP launcher that will detonate on impact so that is kind of weird and the atlas is pretty much the same thing except it comes with a smoke grenade and uh, for the atlas though you have to use a foregrip attachment because the recoil on this gun is absolutely insane so definitely use the foregrip I mean even with the foregrip though the recoil is still pretty bad but it's a little bit better with the foregrip attachment so when you get on definitely try to unlock the foregrip attachment as soon as you get that and uh, put it on immediately because like I said you're gonna notice the recoil the damage is actually pretty good don't get me wrong when you use this gun you're gonna notice that you kill a lot of people very fast and uh, so yeah th this gun is actually pretty good it's like I said it's an LMG so you want to try to kill people from long range you don't want to be up close because the recoil is pretty bad again I, I do want to stress that to you guys uh, as much as I can you you can't really run and gun with this LMG you have to play at a distance from medium to long range but uh, for the Ryzen though you definitely can run and gun because it is a three-one burst weapon which is kind of odd for a SMG it does remind me of the Feral a little bit so uh, that is, I mean, if you guys are wondering about that. I can't really think of a weapon that the Atlas reminds me of, but uh, I don't know. It just, it's overall, it's a pretty weird gun. Both these guns are pretty weird uh, because we've never had something that has a under barrel attachment with the EMP launcher and a smoke grenade launcher. So uh, I don't know, just a very weird gun in general. Uh, but for the Atlas though, you want to use these the thermal sight when you unlock this because you can actually throw your smoke grenade and you can see people through the smoke with your thermal attachment. So definitely try that strategy out when you get these two weapon so guys that's it for the video just want to let you guys know that we have two brand new weapons for infant warfare in case you guys are wondering about that and i'm going to be covering all the world war ii information that we get today at a games console be on the lookout for that guys thanks so much for watching drop a like if you guys did enjoy and tell me your thoughts about these two weapons in the comment section down below i'm a very typical rest of the day until next time i'll see you guys later